Hi guys, it's Lisa. I'm joined by Wes. Morning. And today we are wondering about starting Healing Hub. You might be in a position mm. where you're thinking, I'd quite like to join a Healing Hub or be a part of one, but what do I do next? So Wes, just in the next five, 10 minutes, how can people get involved? What is it all about? Um, it's great. Well, you, uh, the great thing about healing ministry, of course, is that it's a shared thing. I mean, the disciples are sent out in in pairs. And, and of course, as you maybe have heard me say before, there's no suggestion that they were all sent to a different village. They could have literally gone to the same place, uh, but in pairs. Um, and it's a shared thing. So it's a community thing. So one of the things I would say um, to start with, if you want to to look about either joining a healing hub or, um, or or particularly starting a healing hub is find some mates, find some friends who share a similar sort of passion that you do for the healing ministry of Jesus today. Um, if you want to join a healing hub, um, you can get in touch with us and we'll let you know where the nearest one is. But maybe there's not one near you. So what's your first step? Well, my first step is to say you've got a passion, you think, we should be praying for healing because Jesus is the healer. Find five mates, five friends who share the same passion as you do. Nice. Okay, so you found your five mates who've got this passion. You're ready to uh, think about starting your healing hub in your local community. What do they need to do first? Um, well, one of the things we found is it's really helpful if people talk to us right at the beginning. Because to be an Acorn Healing Hub, there's some things that you can put into place straight away um, and, and it helps you become established. It helps you to, to journey uh, with it as well. And so there are things which we can suggest that will give make your journey a little bit um, easier. Um, there are people who are already on the journey that you could talk to a little bit further ahead than you and they can say, oh yeah, we, we tried this and, and whatever. Um, and so we, we felt, first of all, the thing that everybody wants is they want to be safe. Yeah. You want to do this in a safe way. You want the people who come to feel safe, a safe and sacred space. And so we decided the best way we could do is we've got some forms. It's, it's terrible, isn't it? That you can <laughs> fill in that just help us get to know you and you get to know us. So it's um, things like there's, a, there's an application form, just, you know, basic details about how we get in touch with you and how you can get in touch with us. We ask for two references, a church leader, and then perhaps somebody who knows you really well and just says, yeah, this person is, is, is I think could really do this. And then because um, we don't have to be, um, you know, CRB checked, um, it's, we would ask you to fill in a self-disclosure form. And what that means is it just says, um, is there anything that if it came to light would prove a difficulty for others knowing that you were in this sort of um, way of serving and praying. And of course, we want to make sure it's safe for the people who come and we want to make sure that it's safe for you as well. So um, you're getting to know us and we're getting to know you. Yeah. And then a big question some people do ask us is, why do I need training to be praying for people? Uh, so tell us a little bit more about the training at ACORN and why it is important as part of a healing hub. Uh, great uh, thought, uh, Lisa. Um, we have something called the ACORN Christian Healing Academy. It's run on once a month on a Saturday morning for three hours online. Um, and people do that um, either in their own home or actually more uh, and more now people are doing it together. So they will literally gather together in one room as a healing hub and do the academy together. And people do say, I've, I've been trained in, in ministry. Why do I need to do this? Or do I have to do the academy? And the answer is very simple. The answer is yes, you have to do it. If we're going to be able to sign you off as part of a healing hub, the reason is simple. Number one is we never stop learning. Yeah. So there's always stuff that um, even though you might have done a, a John Wimber healing course 20 years ago, we're still learning, and, which I did, but we're still learning all the time. Um, every time we do the academy, I learn something about the healing ministry of Jesus. And so what we want to say is to, to be in that place of not assuming that we know everything, 
But to be in that place of lifelong learning is a safe thing for us. But it also means that in that process of learning, we grow together, you grow together with your hub. You're learning together, you're sharing the journey together. And actually we do, in the academy, Lisa, we do touch into things that actually I've never come across being taught in any other healing course. Yeah. yeah. Because life is now changed and it's more complex and we need to deal with those sort of things. Absolutely, yeah. And it does provide um, a, an environment for accountability. Oh, yeah. We're safe together and also you're safe within the training that we're doing. And there's an incredible amount of wisdom shared, both from the trainers, but also from people who are training as well. Yes, and of course, you, you have to then deal with your own stuff. Yeah. You know, so one of the questions we, we answer is no ministry is value free. We all bring presuppositions to ministry. We like to think that God agrees with them all, mm. but maybe maybe he doesn't. And so, mm. you know, we all of us as team, we've had to deal with our own stuff, our own emotions, our own attitudes, our own values and say, OK, how do I help people? Yeah. Brilliant. OK, so we've you've got your mates, your five mates. Uh, you've chatted to after Acorn and you filled out your forms. You're attending the monthly Acorn Christian Healing Academy. What next? Well, one of the things that one of the hubs did, and, and it's become a little bit of thing that we then now suggest to others, is um, we do something called Acorn Christian Live, which is a monthly healing service. It's 30 minutes max. It's got some worship in it. It's got a short message and some prayer. And what we said to the teams is gather together as a hub, watch the service together and then pray for one another. Because that way you not only journey together and learn together, but you experience what it's like to pray for others and also to be prayed for yeah. in in that public environment. So in a sense, you get used to hearing your voice praying for other people. You get used to the feeling of what it's like to be prayed for. So for many of us who've been praying for people for years, sometimes it's, it's easy to forget what it's like to be the person being prayed for. Yeah. But also we recognise that we all have needs. So actually we say, start to meet together. Before you even go public, start to meet together and pray for one another. It's like practicing in the Holy Spirit and, and yeah. just getting used to that environment. Yeah, definitely. And uh, so some people in healing hubs, they meet in churches, they might meet in community centers, anywhere, cafes. Um, mm -hmm. And it's really important then, isn't it, to build good relationships with churches their leaders yeah. before we start going publicly why is that a good idea Wes? well we're not trying we're not trying to start a church we're, we're not wanting people to leave their churches and come and join the hub the hub is there to pray for people to find healing whether it's spirit soul or body um, and of course the great thing is if they get healed they don't need to come back yeah so it, it's not about saying can we have your people? Can we have your money? We don't want any of that. It's just to reassure church leaders that we're here. The hub exists to serve the local church. And in fact, Lisa, um, one of the beautiful things is that churches do send people to the hub that they maybe don't know how they can minister to them. Yeah. And they send them to our to the hubs, knowing that we're going to pray for them and bless them and help them and, you know, see them healed and restored. But actually, they could, they're, they're still part of their local church. They're not joining us. Yeah, very, very good. And people may be thinking, I don't know if I can do this uh, on my own or just with my team. What support will they receive from us at Acorn? Well, one of the things we say is the, um, the, the hubs are locally led, but they are um, centrally, nationally supported. So from an ACON point of view, um, we have a monthly gathering um, of, of all the coordinators. We have a, a, a bi-monthly gathering of all the teams to be able to pray together online. So you don't have to sort of travel miles to do it. But also as a, as a leadership team, we support the hubs. So we'll go and visit. We'll spend time with the hubs. If there are any difficulties with leaders or whatever, I've often gone and just helped to ease the way through. But they also get ongoing training from us. Um, and of course, the incredible thing about it, Lisa, is it's all free. We're not charging yeah. for yeah. any of those. So it's not just us saying, fine, there you are, off you go. Um, we keep in touch 
um, and we provide whatever support is needed to help the hubs feel a safe and sacred space. Amazing. Gosh, if I wasn't part of ACORN already, I would be signing up. <laughs> um, but if you are interested in being a part of or starting your own ACORN Christian uh, Healing Hub in your community, you can do so by just emailing us at info at acornchristian.org. We'll send you an application form and start a conversation with you. So we hope to see you soon and we hope this information has been really helpful to you. Cheers, Wes. Bye.